Breakups are hard, and we've all been there. You, me, Dupree, probably your dog. The worst part about a breakup is, for some reason, when you decide to finally leave your house instead of eating ice cream and watching Netflix for days on end, you go to the mall and you start to see people in relationships, holding hands, kissing, just genuinely being happy with each other. And you have to hold hands with yourself to not go and rip them apart or go up to them and tell them love is not real. See, I was in this position not too long ago and I've completely gotten over that breakup. So now I thought I would share my tips for you. So here's how to get over a breakup in four easy digestible steps. Number one, block them. You gotta block them on all social media so you don't spend your nights shifting through your Instagrams, your Facebooks, your Twitters and seeing how they're living their life. You need them to just be wiped away completely from your mind. Because if they end up posting pictures with somebody else, you're gonna be a sad boy or girl or whatever the other gender is in between. Not only block them online, block them in real life. So if they're like, hey, let's still be friends, you say, nah, I I'm chill. You can't be friends because it's not gonna help your breakup process and you're still deep down in your heart gonna be like, I love them still. I just wanna be with them. And you don't want that. You don't want that. Even better, then that, just don't talk to them at all. Not even friends, just strangers. Ghost the hell out of them. Embody some Casper, okay? Block them in life. And if you have any of their stuff left in your house, things that they brought over to your house to um, kind of claim their territory, what I want you to do, collect all their stuff together, put it in a box, get some gasoline, pour it all over it, get a match, light that match, drop the match into the box of their memories, and watch it burn that's what I like to call the cleansing ritual, because you're just getting rid of any feelings you may have had for that person while burning them. If step number one doesn't help you, then you might want to move on to step number two, being sad. <laughs> I'm a guy, so you know, I don't like to express my emotions. What I do is I just shove them all the way down and forget they exist until they pop up randomly and I have a mental breakdown and just start crying for an hour. <laughs> it's okay to be sad. Write your feelings out in a journal. Kind of understand why you're feeling this way, what you miss about them. Pro tip, you can throw that writing into the cleansing ritual. Boom. You talk to your best friend because they may be going through the same thing or they have gone through the same thing. Best friends are just there for you in general. Just vent to your best friend. They might just nod and not really listen to anything you say, but at least you're venting out whatever's inside your head and getting it out into the earth, making you feel better. That's how therapy works. It's okay to stay inside and be sad for a bit. Just wallow in your sadness, eat some ice cream, watch some Netflix, that's fine. It's if it's what you gotta do, it's what you gotta do. And that wraps up step number two. Number three, distractions. When sitting inside just gets a little bit too much for you, find some distractions. Go out and do new things. Try some things you never thought you could do before. Go to a club, hit on a stranger, go skydiving. Distract yourself from the feelings of sadness. Find somebody else. But don't get into a relationship with that person. Use it as a rebound kind of thing. Do not get directly into a relationship after you've already been into a relationship, it doesn't help you grow as a person and you won't really get over the person that you broke up with. That was number three. If all of those haven't made you feel better yet, here's number four, uh, some extras, which are some do's and don'ts and just extra rules that didn't really apply to the first three. Don't hold grudges. If they did something, forget it, forgive, forget. You know why? Because it's healthy. If you hold a grudge, that means you're gonna be constantly thinking about them. If you just forgive them, you can forget them. Don't seek revenge. Don't go out of your way to try and date like their boy, their ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend or best friend to get back at them. Again, it doesn't help you get over the person you're trying to get over. That is all the tips. Those are your four tips. I hope that was enough tips to leave you satisfied. At the end of the day, just realize it's gonna take time for you to get over that person and it's gonna take time for those feelings to fade, but if you follow these steps, it's gonna be a lot easier. What the saying is, time heals all wounds, even emotional wounds. So, take that into account. Yes, so thank you for watching this video. This is how you get over a breakup, and they are hard. We, we all know this. In the comment section down below, drop some breakup stories or some additional tips on how to get over a breakup. I wanna hear your thoughts and opinions. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, show that you like it, 
Uh, it helps me decide what or what I should not post. If you're new, click the subscribe button for new videos every single Wednesday from now on. <laughs> what? Changing things up again? Here, here goes me do doing that. Uh, and you can click the video on the screen for a video uh, that has been selected for you magically. Okay, the end.